Last week, I spent two entire hours just trying to stop a Windows service from auto-starting. Two hours, and after all that troubleshooting, registry edits, and YouTube tutorials, it just came back the next day. Meanwhile, my friend who uses Linux, he fixed the same issue with one terminal command in literally 15 seconds. And that got me thinking. The privacy problem nobody talks about is that you open up your task manager on Windows 11 right now. Go ahead. I'll wait. Uh, look at all those background processes. Now ask yourself, do you actually know what half of them are doing? What data they're sending? Where it's going? The honest answer is you don't know about that. And even you can't. Yes, man, accept this. Because Microsoft doesn't let you see under the hood. I've been diving deep into Windows telemetry lately, and let me tell you that it's a maze. You've got diagnostic data being collected constantly, Cortana listening, even when you think it's off. And then there's that new feature. You know, the one that essentially takes snapshots of everything you do on your screen? Yeah, they call it an AI assistant. Security experts call it a liability. Let me show you something. I'm going to demonstrate something really simple, clearing your browsing history and activity logs completely. On Windows, open settings. Find privacy and security. That is actually hidden. Now navigate through multiple menus. Then clear activity history. Oh wait, there's another place you need to check. Open command prompt as administrator. Run some commands, buddy. Get an access denied error. Google the workaround and then try again to check. Check if it actually worked. It probably didn't. Oh man, this procedure get 20 to 30 minutes. Hey window users, now just check this. On Linux, open terminal. Type one command, press enter. Done, time elapsed. Five seconds. And here's the kicker. It's actually gone. Not hidden until the next update. Actually deleted. Now you might be thinking that Linux is complicated. Okay, I hear this all the time. Let me show you how complicated modern Linux is. If you're going to install Windows 11, need a Microsoft account. No way around it now. Answer invasive questions about your usage. Wait for endless updates. Disable 20 different tracking features manually. Install drivers. Remove bloatware. And it takes your 45 minutes. Installing Ubuntu or Linux, click Install. Choose your language, create a username, set a password, click Continue, done. This duration time is 12 minutes. Now decision is yours. Man, you still thinks Window is better? Another myth about Linux is that, but my games won't work. Okay, but what do you think about the powers of Steam Deck, that handheld gaming device everyone's been raving about? Yep, obviously Linux. And it plays thousands of games flawlessly. In fact, Valve invested heavily in something called Proton, which means most Windows games now run on Linux without any tweaking. We're talking Cyberpunk, Elden Ring, Red Dead Redemption, they just work. Plus, without all those background processes eating your RAM, you might even get better performance. Yes, I know. Now you probably thinking about your software. Don't worry, man. I'm here to solve your all queries. If you thinking that, what about my programs? Fair question. Let's break this down. Uh, Microsoft Office? LibreOffice is free and opens all your documents perfectly. Or just use Office 365 in your browser that works exactly the same. Adobe Creative Suite? Okay, this one's trickier. But there's GIMP for photos, DaVinci Resolve for video, it's professional grade and free, and Blender for 3D work. Your work software? If it's web-based, and most modern software is, it'll work identically on Linux. This isn't about being a Linux fanboy. With Linux, the computer does what I tell it to do. No second guessing, no mysterious background processes, no data being sent to servers I don't control. And once you experience that feeling actually owning your computer again, it's hard to go back. Now you don't need to make any dramatic changes today. Here's my suggestion. Grab a USB drive, eight gigabytes or larger. Download Linux Mint, it's completely free. Create a bootable USB, takes 10 minutes, tons of tutorials online. Boot from the USB and try Linux without installing anything. Your Windows installation stays completely untouched. You're just test driving. No commitment. Play around for an hour. Open some websites. Check if your games work. See how it feels. The reality is Windows 10 support officially ended in October 2025. Microsoft wants you to upgrade to Windows 11, which means buying new hardware for many people. Look, I already showed you exactly how to try Linux risk-free in my last video. Links in the description. The timing's never been better. The tools are ready. And honestly, if you're still sitting on Windows watching it get worse with every update, this is your sign. Go watch that video. Try it this weekend. Your computer's been waiting for you to take control. See you in the next one.